Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a video and a few notes for a customer who sent a board which is, uh, I believe, XVT42. Let me see if I have a model somewhere on the board. I remember I saw it. It was a 40 XVT42. Yeah, I can see it's part of the, the board number XVT3D42. Three or 424 four SV. And this is the board. And uh, we're testing it on a 47 inch TV. I'm looking for a few unique markings on the board so that the customer knows this is their board. Uh, they sent it with a, uh, with a flat strip cable that goes to the T-Con board. And we're testing on a larger TV, this is our testing stand. Uh, but it works fine uh, for the sake of testing. And uh, first I want to show that the board is working now. The notes was that it wasn't controllable and it was only black and white. Please don't pay attention that it's upside down. Uh, that is for sake of testing. I don't want to explain long what, what and how. Uh, but this is the remote and uh, it's the input button. It allows me to go up and down, down, down. And HDMI and other HDMI. Then again, input and going up, up. So the, the remote is working fine and the HDMI's are working fine. As you can see, this is our media player that is hooked up, similar to all uh, our setup. This is the wheel, pressing it, where's the wheel, there's the wheel, pressing the wheel, pulling the manual, Exit. Okay, so the board is working now. I want to shut it off because I'm going to be doing a few things. Okay, it's off now. When that board came, it had all the flat ribbon connectors broken. The infrared, not the wheel, the infrared, the T-cone board, and the Bluetooth. All those four connectors were broken. Uh, they were missing the small lids and we replaced all of them. And the ones that are here are different than the original ones. Let me see if I have another board here, uh, which is this. This is how the original ones look on that board that I just put on the top. And this is how our replacements look like. So they are slightly different and the big one is very different. This is a very solid and much more expensive connector hours than the one that uh, Visio has put in. This one, the one for the Bluetooth is different than the others. And this is one of the reasons I'm making this video. I'm, I'm afraid that upon installing all those, uh, you may break the lids again. What was broken when they came was the covers, the lids were broken and the lids open 90 degrees like this. And you just pull. And this is a made up cable and the same is here. Pull and then you have to plug it really nicely and all the way in and then close. And the closing actually secures it in place unless you pull really hard which of course you shouldn't do. It's not a major force that holds it in place. It's, it's okay. If I pull really hard, it's gonna pull, but it's good. Uh, this though is different. This one has to be taken on both sides and pulled. The cover itself is pulled. It's not open turn 90 degrees, but it's pulled. It's already pulled out. And when it's pulled out, you can take the cable off. Uh, this is a small distance here. You can see that you can pull, push it in and then pull it out. This is what we have as a replacement cable. Uh, it's a little bit harder to do properly, especially if you're looking on the video, but the ways you have to open that first, just pull it out nicely, a millimeter or so, evenly, and then there's an opening on this side of the connector where you plug the cable in and I'm really sorry that I'm not the best video operator while well, I do things 
but it goes in like this and then you close it just push the back connector back in place so it locks the cable down and this is solid now and holds in place don't try to pull to turn this 90 degrees you don't try to pull those and please don't break them this is easy it just turns up uh, this is a whole lot more solid connector than the original one but everything can be broken if there's a will uh, we will surcharge for the replacement of the four connectors uh, in addition to the repair of the board which had a black and white image and wasn't responding to I don't remember what uh, but the image is color now and the board is reworked just please don't break the connectors and good luck thank you